Hey everyone and welcome or welcome back to the tune project. Today I'll be teaching you how to play the old time tune Betty Lichen on the violin, so stay tuned. As always, if you end up enjoying this video and finding it to be helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up below. And if you're not yet subscribed to the tune project, I do post videos just like this one along with technique videos every single week. So consider hitting that red subscribe button below and the notification bell so that you don't miss out when I post new videos. I'll have the timestamps of this video listed down below if you'd like to skip around and you can always adjust the speed in your video settings. And for the extended edition of this tutorial where you can learn the version of the tune you heard just a minute ago, head on over to Patreon or become a member of the Tune Project right here on YouTube. All you have to do is visit the link in the description box below for Patreon or head over to my YouTube channel homepage and click join. Now grab your fiddle and let's get into it. So this is an old time tune and we are in the key of A mixolydian, which means that there are lots of notes that might not make sense together, but just do your best to catch the notes as we go. And I'll do my best to try to explain if there's anything unusual happening along the way. And here's our first phrase. Okay, so we have a triplet there where we go into a G sharp. So just watch for that high second finger on the E string. Here's our next phrase starting on open E once again. Okay, so we're back to a G natural there. So a low second finger on the E string. And that's actually the whole A section. We just have those two phrases. It's pretty short. So let's go ahead and play this A section together now. One, two, ready, go. So you would play that A section twice, it does have a repeat. And then same thing with the B section, it has a repeat also. So A, A, B, B is our form here. Now for this B section, we're getting into a slightly lower range. So we're working mainly between the A and D strings. And the first phrase goes like this. <laughs> All right, so there we're back to a low second finger on the A string, a C natural. And then we're hopping up to the E string for this next phrase. Now this third phrase of the B part is actually the same as the first phrase. However, we do have a C sharp instead of a C natural. So you'll hear a slight difference. Just make sure to catch that one note as we go through here. And one thing that I would recommend for both of these phrases is to, if you can, leave your third finger down on G on the D string so that you have access to it when you come back to that same note. You don't have to lift and reset it every time. Just makes it a little bit easier if you do have the ability to do that without running into the A string. And here's our last phrase of the B part. So now that we've learned the whole tune, let's go ahead and play this B section together at a slow tempo. One, two, ready, go.
there you have it. Congratulations for learning all of Betty Lichen with me today. I hope you enjoyed learning that one. If you would like to take a look at the sheet music now that you've learned the whole tune by ear, it is available in my digital sheet music library. So feel free to take a look at that via the link in the description box below. And again, if you would like access to the full version of this tutorial, be sure to head on over to either Patreon or become a member here on YouTube so that you can learn how to add in some fun fiddly ornaments into this tune. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Happy practicing!